Hey everyone, we're back again. This time we're in the store, the Tatinoko store here in Montreal, Canada. As usual, we're gonna start off with the fits. I'll go first. So from the top, I have my standard in situ navy cap. Um, I talk about it almost every week, but highly recommend it. If you don't have one of the in situ caps, definitely pick one of those up. I have on my shot 618 horse hide leather jacket. Um, it's a little bit chilly in Montreal, so I don't wear it outside much, but sometimes I do wear it around the office, which is, you know, kind of nice to do. I have my black circular knit tee on, MIJ 13, and a buffalo belt. Let's get a close up on those fades. So the, the MIJ 13 is starting to fade a little bit here. Get a little bit of knee action. I noticed that you wear this to bouldering as well. Yes, it's probably fading because of the bouldering. You can't even see the roping down here. Oh. Shoes. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Um, I have some slippers. Not sure where I got them. I think they're from Christmas. So no ID on the slippers and some Dure thick wool socks. And then lastly, for the watch update, today I'm wearing uh, my no date sub with my green nylon strap. That's it for me. Want to go watch. next, Vinny? Yeah, I'll go next. All right. What's good, y'all? It's Vinny Vidi Vici here. Uh, we got the in situ wool blazer. It's kind of itchy, but it's really nice, keeping me warm in these cold seasons with the black circular knit tee. Buffalo belt this time, how to switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm wearing my 11 ounce today. Got some fades going. How long you been oh, wearing these? Honestly, I got these when I first started working here and it's like an on and off thing, you know, like a toxic girlfriend, toxic relationship, on and off, you know? You got the Cordovan wallet with it as well. And last but not least, my trustworthy Tims out here in the East Coast. But yeah. Are they still squeaking? Nope. You know why? Because I put uh, baby powder in the insole and it's no longer squeaking. <laughs> I no longer sound like SpongeBob with his boots, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, Tristan. Tristan's next. Hi, right, I'm next. Um, have uh, a True Guys Dirty Fades with a black t shirt um, and uh, the um, Ecru. What were the. What? All natural organic uh, char coat. Um, the the sandsmiths is pretty much it. What about the glasses, bro? <laughs> They're glasses. <laughs> Next. Well, watch you today. Um, I'm wearing a, a Seiko patty as as usual, and I have this uh, uh, cool pen too. Who, who makes the pen? Where do you get the ID on that? Uh, still form. So it's. Is it a fountain pen, ballpoint? Give it's it ballpoint, but look, it, 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 it's fun to play with. <laughs> That's the main thing. That's the important thing with a pen, right? Oh, yeah. There you go. The entertainment tactics. I have other things that are fun to play with, but can't show them on camera. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> it's Vince. <laughs> um, I have my snap hoodie by Raised by Wolves, uh, my seven millimeter thick brown belt. Good old Nacho Indigo Selvage, groovy guys. Got some fades going. And holes in my loafers. No Ronnie McDonnies today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm wearing the um, Yucatan suede cap and I cut off my hair. I regret it. <laughs> Every day. I kind of want a mullet, <laughs> but. I know, I realize. When you look in the mirror, you just start crying. When I look in the mirror, I feel immense waves of disgust, <laughs> disdain, oh, and then that's a good sign. And then heavy sadness. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> My pillow holds more. Next in. Hello, hello. So today I'm a full uh, elephant from bottom to top. This one is pretty new, so no fades yet, but it's the Grand Real. 11 without stretch, size medium. And I got my uh, Fidel uh, Elephant 
eight to be my cotton for my uh, my pants and easy guy, size 31. Uh, today also, uh, Doug Martin again, but uh, different models. So these ones are made in England and uh, I've been wearing them for maybe six months total. I also got um, Indigo and I can famous also a uh, Salvage uh, shirt, short sleeve shirt. That's pretty old. I don't even know the model. We're not making that anymore. And I got uh, my spare wallet, also a gift from birthday last year. Leather and starting to fade a little bit. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, well, it's good to see everybody for another exciting week here at Tap and Yoko. As always, you know, I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. So today, I was wearing my custom Vans wides for my mega wide duck feet. All my other brothers and sisters out there with wide feet, they know the pain. They know the pain. They are supporting these immense King of Slub 2s over here. Um, getting some real miles in them. I had a wild weekend running around with a bunch of like dogs and children and all kinds of stuff. And they're just starting to, just starting to kind of like wake up like a first spring flower there. The first signs of like exciting life in terms of mega slub fades. As always, they're held up by this magnificent Bech Tan seven millimeter belt here, girdled around my waist. Today we got a bit of the old classic, pulled out some of Terry's all-star favorites here. I got my old, um, Tannery Soft t-shirt there, they're an old friend of the company here. And my yellow uh, work shirt, yellow, yellow flannel work shirt. I've had this for many, many, many years. Two years. <laughs> I've had this for two years. Two years. I love this shirt here. It's come back, make it a little bit of a feature. Uh, of course, I got my Casio GWM 5600. I've had this for 12 years. I was doing it before it was cool. I know these are cool now, but I feel validated. Thank you fashionistas out there and up top is oh natural is raw you can't tame this mane nah -uh. i'm going just natural here 40 years strong still got my hair very blessed thank you blessed that's why i feel blessed blessed <laughs> <laughs> all right and that's gonna move us on straight on to the pick of the week so for this week's pick of the week i have a great little comment as always uh, these days we're doing a bit of a little random draw so if you left the special word of the week in the comments uh last week uh, when you placed an order you can be entered to win this draw for a special prize so this week hang over with me i'm just going to do a little pick over here thank you very much Vinny. we have uh from texas carlo carlo from texas uh, you just a lot of love there. Thank us for our 15th anniversary, which it is. It is. Um, lots of thanks. Thank you very much, Carlo, for your warm wishes. Put in the word of the week, which is uh, origin or originesis, which of course is a geological term. I like to throw in a little bit of a curveball there. It's a geological term for a type of, um, it's a process used for the creation of certain types of mountain ranges. I encourage everyone to look that up and expand your brain. So for Carlo, you ordered. He was one of the lucky few that got the 15th anniversary double pack there. So he got a poster and a jean. So we'll have for you, Carlo, here. One of the lucky, a beautiful 15th anniversary pair of super guys and a one of 100 Tate edition here, special poster going off the way. So I do hope you enjoy this. And whoop, for entering and winning the prize, we're going to throw you a special. Super hard to find. We have here one of our naked famous uh, denim bags. These are excellent. Use them to tote things around, carry stuff, carry your cool poster to show off all your friends how cool you are. I like this one a lot. So thank you very much, Carlo, for playing. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I drop the next word of the week that you guys can throw in the comments and have your chance at winning a cool random prize from us. Thank you very much. Do you, have a, do you have a warehouse update for us, Terry? Yes, I have a warehouse update. I want to say the 15th anniversary products disappeared like so much morning dew in the sun. They just evaporated. Uh, I think everyone is a little bit surprised how fast that went. So if you didn't grab one or you couldn't grab one for partner side, but hey, come back. Uh, we're going to have new jeans all the time and they're always special. And they're special because you guys keep uh, supporting us and making them special. So that's it, they evaporated, but we got some new jeans, exciting jeans, delicious new denim products coming out here for you guys to kind of just swoop in and kind of like embrace and cover yourself with some turgid, thick, thick, naturally dyed new products. And to talk about these brand new jeans over here, we have Mr. Garrett, who's gonna show it off. The new flavor of the week, it is 
Oh, what is this? It's the new Pagoda Died Salvage. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so this this uh, guy, he's going to be dropping on um, this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Yes, this Friday, the 15th. It's the 15th, right? Yes. This Friday, the 15th. <laughs> so make sure you're there this Friday, the 15th, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. The Pagoda Died Salvage. Baze, I did a video uh, previously going over all the details, but we're just gonna, you know, talk a little bit about it, maybe get our opinions on these jeans. So I'm, I'm really excited about these. I always do love these um, yellow, yellowish brown weft jeans. One thing I will uh, mention is in Bayside's video, he shows the sample, which has a pink selvage ID. This is actually a light yellow selvage ID. So you can see it right there, get a nice close up on it there Vinny. You in focus? Yeah. So that's what it's going to look like for the production. So if you order it's not going to be pink, it's going to look just like this. Um, it's a really stiff, quite hairy fabric um, with the, the non-leather patch. So it's a great option I think if you're someone who doesn't like leather, if you're a vegan or you know someone who just prefers to have the non-leather patch. That is a cool feature. You don't have to swap it. It comes just like that and it's passed through too. So you can put your belt in behind. One other thing I just want to mention about these jeans is people often get confused. They see that it has a yellow weft on the inside and people think, oh, it's going to fade to yellow. So that is actually not the case. The outside, the warp yarn is uh, a standard indigo dyed yarn with a white core. So that is actually gonna fade to a light blue color. It's the warp yarn that controls the fading, not the weft. However, if you do eventually wear through your jeans, let's see, maybe over here we have a, come with me, Vinny. We have a pair over here. So eventually, I'm sure you guys have all had a pair where you've worn through on the knee and you get the, the weft yarns will kind of come across like this. You'll have all these little lines come across. These will be yellow. So if you do break through the fabric, you will see the yellow coming through on the outside, but you won't see it up here where you're just fading the warp yarns. Again, here, that's where you'd see that weft coming through on the, on areas where it's breaking, the warp yarns have broken. So that's the new Pagoda dyed selvage. It's gonna be dropping this Friday at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern time on tatianyoko.com. What are your guys' thoughts? Um, Tristan, what do you think? As the guy who did all the measurements. Yeah, these are, I think what's interesting about those, like uh, they don't have a, a standard weight feeling, you know, they're like 15 ounce, I believe. Yeah, 15 ounce. Um, they're so starchy. They feel like 18 ounces. They're, this, they're quite interesting. They're gonna fold like paper in a way. I don't know if you, you can see that. Um, so yeah, I don't. there's something interesting to the stiffness of it. They're gonna be like sense. really yeah. creased. Like yeah, very creased. Really Sh sharp sharp creases. Yeah. Also interesting texture, uh, you know, it's like very light slub, but yeah, perfectly light, perfectly balanced. As all things should be. There you As go. All things should be. <laughs> Vincent, what do you think? Uh, <sighs> I like anything with a colored weft. So like other fabrics we've made in the past with color wefts, I'm a big fan of, I love selling them. I think they're really, really fun. And um, I like that it has a cardboard patch. Normally, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Normally, I'm not a big fan of cardboard patches on denim, but I think it suits really well and it, it matches with the weft, which is sick. And if you pair with like any, I don't know, black leather boot or black shoes, like it just, uh, it's a nice accent. So, um, yeah. Also, if you really, really like, are attached to a leather patch, you can swap it. Uh, exactly. We, we, we do that. So uh -huh. add, add, add a patch to the cart, as simple as that. Yes, and then specify how you want it sewn on. The yeah. measurements are correct, by the way. They are. Tristan does all the measurements. <laughs> so if you have yes. any complaints about the measurements, please send your emails to Tristan. Yes, specifically request. <laughs> <laughs> Terry? Request. Okay, cool. So I'm actually a big fan of all the uh, colored wefts, specifically natural dyes. I think a lot of people uh, who are into raw denim as well are big on natural materials. This one is going to be at least all cotton. 
So there's no stretch in here. So that's going to be like kind of a natural by natural. Having that natural color is a lot of fun. Uh, we've done stuff like this before. This is just a different variation. This is a real turgid boy. It's a real, a real, a real, uh, real stiffy, this guy here. However, um, what could be cool is because it has a colored weft, if you really want to show that off, yeah, you can flip up the cuff, but I think this will work really well with maybe a raw hem. So that way, like I mentioned before, when you kind of break the fabric there, you're going to get those colored wefts coming out and it's really going to look like a whole bunch of like wiggly little yellow lines coming out the edge of your jeans. It will be pretty cool. So any colored wefts work really well with that. Also, when they eventually get damaged, you know, you're going to have that splash of yellow there. Um, but Got to read it so just because it's got a yellow weft doesn't mean it's going to fade the yellow. We can't say that enough. Takes a while. Uh, that kind of makes me think like if you did the raw hem, you'd almost have like a scarecrow vibe. Like there's hay or grass oh, yeah, yeah, coming real. out of the bottom. You know what I mean? Yeah, not, I that's kind of what I thought about when you said that. It's not as bright as the turmeric. Mm -hmm. But uh, you, you heard Terry. Yeah, let's compare it to when the you turmeric. Wear the jeans and they go from you know starchy and stiffy to soft and supple. Yeah. Like you. Yeah, How much does the turmeric weigh? You can tell it's not as stiff. The turmeric right off the bat. is twelve ounces. So yeah. you know, of course, it the contrast over here feels softer. But also, like this has a very light, warm hue. And so, if you show next to one another, you know, this, mm. this is brighter tone of yellow, if that makes sense. Like a, yeah. a more, more saturated. saturated. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to say right off the bat, the color here, and he reminds me of the fox fibers we did a while back. Although these are not fox fibers and they're not washed, I think the color and like the weft there is kind of heading in that direction. And that was a all-star winner. It's one of our greats. I love the fox fiber and I think this one's also going to be a winner. Uh, send us some photos. Anyone out there does a raw hem? Drop it on Instagram. We like to repost customers' uh, pictures all the time and you guys can see what a crazy looking colored weft raw hem will look like. We are looking forward to seeing that. Yes. Cool yes. pair of jeans. Yes. Always. If you guys don't already, make sure you uh, follow the Tate and Yoko. That's at Tate and Yoko Instagram account. We're always posting. We're posting, you know, um, memes. memes, mainly memes and, and other and stuff, <laughs> other stuff, <laughs> memes and jeans. So definitely yeah, check that out and follow that. All right. What do we have left to do? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. So special. <laughs> there will be no awards given, but uh, Anyways, we're coming to the end of the year. I think is the pagoda the last release of the year. No, all black comfort. Well, uh, uh, I think the all black comfort is for next year. Anyways, <laughs> we're basically at the end of the season and the end of the year. So we thought we would pick our favorite releases of the year and talk a little bit about them. Of course, you know me. Well, if you do know me, you'll know that I had to go with the elephant 12 because i like my denim thick and heavy that's how i like it and uh yeah the elephant 12 did not disappoint this elephant is uh using my favorite yarn which is the same yarn from the elephant 5 you may have seen my pair that has been nicely faded but on this one there is quite a twist uh or i don't know how maybe not a twist but it uses alternating twill so a broken twill. So this elephant is very rare. It's I don't know of any other fabrics that use a 20 ounce broken twill. But if you do want something very unique, something very special, definitely a conversation piece. There's the elephant 12 broken twill. And uh, get these before they're gone because it might be a long, long time before we do another broken twill elephant. So that's my favorite pair of the year. Oh, here I am, here I am. Raw dog, Vincent. What's your favorite pair? Um, <laughs> man. Raw Dog Vincent in the biz. Um, this is my favorite pair. When I, when I first started here, I think probably the first week, Gary was like, oh, that's someone was at the door. <laughs> Gary was like, um, do you want to model? And like, this was the first pair. I'm glad to have modeled the, um, the Montreal in-store exclusive, the La Belle Prave. So when you come here, you can only buy it here at Tate and Yoko. You can't buy it online. In store. In store. Physical store. Physical store. Can't buy it online. You can't buy it at New York. It's only this, you know? So what's really cool is that you have the very detailed patch with probably the most Quebecois woman I've ever seen in my Zoom life. Zoom in on that. Zoom in. We need some <laughs> details. More. More, more, more. Fill the frame. Yeah, give, give it to him. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. Probably not. That's what I'm saying. 
That's how I feel every time I watch it. <laughs> like the jeans. I can't say that. Never mind. <laughs> These jeans are stiff. Okay. They're really cool. Um, also, the salvage line, which is really awesome. <laughs> I think I know you were going with that. <laughs> I think so too, but I was like, nah, I already made a couple of jokes. I can't do that. It has swear words. It is a series or an edition of the vulgar savage salvage let's let's get even let's show them off yeah show them all yeah yeah, yeah, it's a typical typical yeah so tristan give yeah, us a uh, explainer yeah okay and so. wait precursor i don't know you guys likely have not heard any like quebecois person ever swear there's a lot more conviction <laughs> to when they say it it's not kind of like oh like and then insert swear word here beep but it's just like they like they really mean it. It's not like a complaint. They're just like, it's coming from the soul. <laughs> and, and, and they like to stack them up too. So yeah, it's not just yeah, like they they'll say up. one, they'll do like one, two, three, all <laughs> four. What? Like they go for the combo. So <laughs> right here, we have all of them here. Well, Tristan, can you tell us how to pronounce, well, not all, but well, yeah. tell us how to pronounce all of these. Okay, so there's a, a ST. What does ST mean? Yeah, tell us. I mean, they're, they're all words coming from the church. And ST, it comes from lusty, which is like the, the bread from the Christ. Like the body, body. of Christ. Yeah. All right, what is go. the, like, what's the actual, what's the bad word in English? There's not. Well, I don't. It's like shit, no? <laughs> no, it doesn't translate like that. Shit is caca, you know? It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Maxim, can you, can you uh, confirm this? Yeah, you cannot translate that at all. Like, it's really... Uh, I mean, I, I bet, I mean, like, some... You French guys. Religious <laughs> Christian <laughs> person would know, but I don't. Yeah, it's so it's basically like like saying religious stuff that you're not supposed to say in a bad context. So that's like... Lame swear word, but it doesn't word. literally translate to an English swear word. Hmm. Um, okay, what about this one? This is Kalis. And what's the Kalis? It's uh, a cup. Uh, I don't know. I'm not chalice. really I think Christian. it's a chalice. It's a chalice. chalice. Yeah, chalice so a cup. You drink the body of Christ. There you go. You, you know. I think it's the blood of Christ. Oh, you have to drink the blood. You drink the blood. Okay. Drink the body. <laughs> I was baptized, but I don't really know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> then there's a Moudzi. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, my favorite, Tabarnak. What does Moudzi mean? I mean, it's. Uh, I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Did, that's. Do you know? I'm not sure in English. I, this is, uh, I was yeah, once. I, I think I, I was, was once right. told. I was damnation or yeah, damn, damn, yeah. Yeah, 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 damnation. Yeah, damnation. Yeah, I was told by my Haitian friend. I'm gonna swear here that it means like you're doomed or yeah, like, you're fucked. <laughs> like that's <laughs> that's what it means. Like he's like Basically. that's what he told me. And then the last one. Tabernak. 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 <laughs> That's the classic. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't ask me. I don't, <laughs> I don't, that was like sure. That's, that's a yeah. multi-use word. I'd like I I use that for anything. You know, it's like a can be a good thing. You're like your boy comes over. You wanted a birthday present. You're like tabernak. You know, it's nice. But like if someone hits your car, you would probably stack all four of these back to back to back and just hit the dude with them. Yeah. All right. So. La Belle Province, also serving good puts in and hot dogs. Steamies and toasties. 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 All right, so my pair of the year, uh, Dirty Fades uh, True Guys. So uh, this is like a, a fabric from the core collection. And uh, this is the, you know, the, the new fit of that fabric. So it's my, my favorite fabric. You know, I think it's a well-balanced 14 and a half ounce. Uh, perfect for, for daily wear, personally. You know, I'm not, I'm not Garrett. I'm not trying to break my knees or or legs or like, you know, it's not comfortable, uh, too heavy. So 14 and a half, it's perfect. It's perfect middle weight. Also, it, these fade nicely. And the true guy is a, a perfectly uh, loose, but not baggy fit uh, for me. And so, yeah, there you go. Are you wearing it now? Yes, that's the pair I'm wearing actually, but these are still pretty, pretty new. So it's nothing to show, but yeah. So those are available Pair right of the now. year, available, but there's not much left. So buy them now quickly or wait for a replant because these are from the core. Buy them before Tristan does. Yes, I'll wait. I'll, I'll buy five just for fun. How's it going, guys? Uh, so for my pick, we got the new Frontier. Okay. Once wash, you know, you could get one for your girl or your partner, you know what I'm saying? Match, match. Um, I don't know. I just like these because the color is nice. The, the contrasting thread is nice. Um, also, I'm a big Fallout fan. I um, still haven't watched the new Fallout series yet, but this reminds me of Fallout, so I kind of like that. 
Um, it's light, perfect for the summertime. And yeah, get yourself a new frontier, even though we barely have anything <laughs> any left. <laughs> but yeah, act quick. Get yourself a new frontier, the final frontier. Yeah. If I, if, I would lick this if I could, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, we got to sell it. We got to sell it. <laughs> new frontier, get yourself so. So my uh, my chosen pick, um, I never know what to wear, like indigo or black. I really like the black one. I always feel like cheating on the indigo god if I wear black. <laughs> so this one is like best of both worlds. You get the underneath, it's all indigo. And it's also cheaper than like buying just a normal indigo pants and just buying the separate ink and bottle and just throwing that in the washer. So you can just... We, we did all the hard work for you. Spread the ink on the fabric so you get a perfectly black jeans that as soon as you're gonna wear it, it's gonna fade into some blue blue patch all the way. And, uh, and I, in fact, like I wore these uh, a past few years ago. I think it's, yeah, it's not the first year we're making this. Yes, uh, it's main. true. Yeah, we it's made them a long before. time ago. So um, yeah, it's, it's a classic and I'm, I'm glad it's back. and. You can get it. There's still some size for you. Perfect. Thanks, Maxim. And last but not least, we have. All right. So this was a real tough one for me. I was torn between two choices. Uh, everyone who's watched this show before knows I've been wearing those 11 S's for a long time, and I love them to bits. But I'm going to have to give it to the King of Slub Twos over here. All right, King of Slub. Two, that's right, version two here. So these ones are a fantastic pair of jeans. And I think the one that, the reason that I'm really gonna give it the edge over to the King of Slub Two is because it is just a fantastically charismatic jean there. It's got tons of texture. Um, I just can't stop looking at my own legs every time I sit down and it's just getting better and better. So these are really, really, really exciting jeans. And I think uh, everyone out there is gonna love something truly, truly different. All right. Thank you very much. Let's come over here. I'm going to give you a little bit of a word of my week. <laughs> All right. So uh, we apologize for that interruption. King of Sub 2, my personal choice. And I'm going to wrap it up right here. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching our show. As always, I want to say a huge thank you. Um, just a personal thank you to everyone out there who does write us comments anywhere on our channel, our Instagram, whatever. But right now, I'm going to close it off with a special word of the week for next week. So. This word of the week, put it in the comment section of your order. It will be, it's a real word, spaghettification. Let us know what it means, what it comes from. I want to hear all about spaghettification. Put it in the comment section of your order for Tak and Yoko, and we will look forward to serving you as soon as possible. Have a lovely week, everybody. We'll see you next time. Oh, peace out. One love, baby. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>